Hey folks, hello and welcome to another Divi tutorial by the team here at Divi Engine. My name is Roby and today I'm going to be showing you how to reverse loop layout columns in one of our plugins, Divi Machine, using the nth child CSS structured Suedo class. You'll find other amazing resources just like this one on both our channel and blog, which will both be linked in the description of this video. Now with that plug out of the way, let's jump right to it. Now for today's tutorial, we're going to take this Divi machine layout that I created here. It's a loop. This entire item that you see here is the loop that I created. Now you'll see that it is a single um, item loop. So basically what that means is I'm not adding different loops next to each other. I'm letting them stack in a list form here. And it, you know, it doesn't look bad. But, you know, as a lot of these different tutorials that we do, this was a request that came from one of our clients that wanted to know, hey, is it possible to have the columns within the actual single loop? So this is loop one, this is loop two, and this is loop three and four. Now, can we alternate the, the order of the columns within that loop? So basically, they want this picture to be over here. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Here, I've got my completed reverse loop using the nth child structured Suedo class. Um, so basically what we did here is we said that for every second loop iteration, we reverse the order of the columns and that puts that picture right here on this side, just as that client wanted. And it continues on and on and on. And we'll talk a little bit more about other things you can do with this, but the uh, Suedo class or the nth child operator is an amazing way to do some really cool styling things with your Divi site. So in the next step, let's take a look at the code we'll be adding. Okay, so as you guys probably already know, there's a few ways that you can add code to your Divi site. Um, let's take a look at the code and then we'll discuss the two ways that we'll do that. Here you can see the code that I created for this tutorial where we've got this DE reverse columns class and then the Divi folder um, archive loop selector and then the Divi machine grid item. And here we're employing that structured Suedo class nth child and we're saying 2n year. And what this basically means is that we're going to select the second child every single time. We'll reset and then select the second one, reset the second one, and it'll continue on like that and apply the CSS you see on the bottom here. Basically what we need to do is we need to tell it that the display for that loop needs to be the flex and then we can use the flex property, flex direction, and then set it to row reverse. And as you would imagine what that does, it reverses those columns around so that we get the effect that we want. And it'll go count one, two again, and then on the second one, it'll reverse them again and so forth. Now I wanted to mention that you can also change that to maybe let's say just two. And what that would do is it would still go ahead and change the second loop, but it will only change the second loop. So you know what that N operator does, it ensures that it resets and then counts one, two, and applies the CSS again. So before we get to that, let's make sure that we've got a Divi website set up and that we've got Divi machine installed and also make sure that you've got a custom post type that you'd like to use this on as well as a bunch of posts within that custom post type. And um, then as of course you will have your loop set up and everything and you'll be good to go. So when you're in the back end of your site, the first way that we can add this code is by going to Divi, theme options, And then when that loads, you'll go scroll down the page and go to custom CSS down here. So you can paste that code right here. Now the alternative way to do it is to actually just go to the page where you've got your archive loop module as I do here. And what you can do also is you can just go ahead and add a code module, pretty easy stuff. Now, once you've got that code module on your page, all you do is either look at the description um, because we'll put the code there for you since it's just a little bit, or you can just go to the blog post and go ahead and copy this code, which I just did. I'll go back to my page here. Now, when you use the code module, you want to make sure that you put it between two style tags, um, like so, and then paste it in. And you see here that we did create the class DE reverse columns. You're going to want to select that and copy it because we need to add it to the archive loop module to make sure that um, the CSS gets applied because let's take a look here and just see what happens. If I just go ahead and update that 
and go and view that page, you'll see that nothing happened, um, even though we added our CSS. So let's hop back here and let's go to the settings for this archive loop module, go advanced, custom CSS and ID classes, paste that CSS class, DE reverse columns in there, check, update our post. And then we'll just hop back over here to our front end. Now that that's saved, refresh, and there you go. Just as simple as that, four lines of code, and we managed to do this pretty cool thing where we're alternating every second loop. So as I mentioned with that end child um, structured Suedo class, it counts one and two, then applies the CSS. And because we use the end operator, it goes again one and two, and then it applies the CSS. So it's a super cool way to make your website a little bit more interesting. Um, hopefully you guys found this snippet welcome. Definitely let us know what you thought, subscribe to the channel, and uh, leave comments because we love reading those and coming up with new ideas to create some awesome content for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.